Mrs. Deshela, I want to start with you with this uh, attack that has taken place and as a result suspended over a dozen a dozen humanitarian organizations in Yemen. What are your sentiments at this point? Uh, a very ill timing considering the kind of humanitarian crisis that is unfolding in Yemen. Thank you for having me. Uh, of course, aid workers should not, not be uh, 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 but you know the situation in Yemen. Unfortunately, these organizations uh, have closed their uh, offices in the uh, government of Salah and, of, co of course, the innocent people will suffer more and more. And, you know, the, the conflict has killed over 10,000 people of Yemenis and the Yemeni infrastructures destroyed. And more than 3 million of Yemeni people displaced from their homes. And the country now, uh, uh, and the country now is going to the brink of famine. And now the swine flu and fever have killed close 200 people since October. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it happens because there is no stability, no security, no peace. This government is not under the Yemeni security. It is under the control of militias in the South Yemen. And therefore, these organizations must ask the Yemeni government to provide them with security protection instead of closing their organizations. You know, now we have, we have more militias in South Yemen, we have some militias in the West Yemen, and we have a host of militias in the North Yemen. So it happens. There is, we, we live in an unstable. There is no security, no peace, no stability, no government.